What's up, everybody? I am on cloud nine, but still very tired, still uh, with a lot of work to do. So yesterday I passed my doctoral preliminary exam. Yikes! That was a beast. Um, thank you to everyone who has supported me on this PhD journey. It's been... Um, it's been overwhelming um, and challenging at times, but it's also been um, my life's dream. So um, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, uh, May 2019. Um, we'll be here before I know it, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk about the importance of service. Um, in the function of being responsible and accountable villagers for our youth. Uh, I started a scholarship in memoriam of my grandparents in 2016, the Robert and Dorothy Joseph Memorial Scholarship Fund. And um, it initially started with an award of $500 uh, per student. Um, for two chosen recipients that would be attending a two or four year college or university in the fall of the upcoming year. So all graduating seniors of color in Craven County are encouraged to apply if you are attending college or university in the fall, if you have a 2.75 GPA, uh, the requirements are to have your transcripts sent, of course, and also a letter of support that can be from a community organization, uh, community service leader, or just someone to speak to um, your character and your um, pursuit of higher education. And the deadline is approaching. Uh, we are less than 30 days away I think uh, I think it's the end of April no let me correct myself it is May the 5th and so far um, there have not been that many applications turned in so I know that there are people out there graduating I know that there are people out there that are college bound and it doesn't matter if you're going to a community college or if you're getting a certificate or a diploma versus a bachelor's degree so make sure you get those applications turned in. If you know someone, uh, share the flyer that's on all of my social media at Shakira Kazi. That's at Shakira Kazi on Twitter and Instagram. Um, Shakira Tatiana on Facebook. I've been sharing it. The two chosen recipients will both receive $1,000 each towards... Uh, Whatever tuition college fees, the monies are paid directly to the recipient. It does not go to the university. It's paid directly to you. Um, I have graciously um, been blessed to have individuals that serve as the scholarship applicant review committee. So I do not rate uh, the application materials there. There's a, a group of people that do that for me. And um, they use a rubric, it's scored, and then the two with the highest score are notified in July. And again, that money is paid directly to you. So it's this is free money to pursue your education. So don't let the opportunity pass you by. And I also want to plug a Stand Up Speak Out of North Carolina while I have your attention. I have served on the board of directors for Stand Up Speak Out North Carolina for, uh, this is going into my third year, and Stand Up Speak Out NC provides just a wide variety of therapeutic art services for witnesses uh, and survivors of domestic violence and sexual abuse. Uh, the Breathe Life Sister Circles are in multiple cities across North Carolina. Currently, we are having a fundraiser for the Girls Speak Out Empowerment Summer Camp uh, that's going on right now. Our goal is to raise $3,000. 
Um, we are always looking for qualified um, volunteers looking to serve in our sister circles in Durham, Greensboro, Raleigh, Green, uh, New Bern. Um, I think there's a group in Charlotte. We're trying to get one in Charlotte. So there's lots of opportunities um, to get involved and give back if you are so moved to do so. And we appreciate your support, whatever it is, whether it's uh, time, energy, um, a dollar, <laughs> whatever you have to give um, is something that sows a seed back into our youth, our community, our families and into each other. So. I hope that everyone is having a fabulous Good Friday. I am with that test behind me. Um, so happy Easter. Enjoy this long weekend with your family and loved ones. And I will definitely be broadcasting live once I touch down next week in New Orleans at the Southern Sociological Society Conference, where I am giving a oral presentation on Friday, April the 6th. At 1.15 p.m. if you just happen to be there in the Creole <laughs> Queen Room of the New Orleans Riverfront Convention Center. I'm talking all about media bias and social injustice and how the media portrays negative depictions of not just um, black families and black people in general, but particularly black men. Um, and how the same media um, goes above and beyond to humanize uh, white perpetrators of violence and domestic terrorism. So um, it's going to be something. I've been waiting a long time to do this presentation. And I, like always, I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> always and forever. So I'm looking forward to that. And um Hopefully I'll make some great connections, but I will be going live so you can be there with me. The entire conference theme is about addressing issues of social social justice in a Trump America. So these all of these sessions are going to be lit. Um, you know, it's going to be uh, we're, we're uh, in the midst of a movement. So it's great to be amongst people who are on the forefront, uh, doing the work, doing the research, doing it at a grassroots level and getting it back out to the community to be a catalyst for people to beat the streets and demand change. So that's what's up. Um, as always, we are the village. Trust black women. Um, God bless you. <laughs>